Hey there folks, Zach here. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little update on my Carolina Reapers because I just got some new equipment. I actually decided to set up a little uh, deep water culture hydroponic system. It's really simple. It's a bucket and it bubbles. So we're gonna take a look at that real quick. All right, so what we have here, oh shit, I'm stepping on the hose, is the deep water culture system. Um, it's just this five gallon bucket, this little blue, or this bigger blue tube is to monitor the water level and helps with drainage when I need to clean it. And this little blue tube is to connect to this guy over here, which is uh, an air pump which pumps air into a uh, air stone, like what you would find in a fish tank, which oxygenates the water, or aerates the water, gives it more oxygen, which will help prevent root rot. Um, I took my smallest plant to do this setup because typically uh, with a hydroponics grow, you are, it's going to grow a lot faster than uh, soil grow. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'll be doing weekly updates. Um, but check out the progress on this guy. Since the last time I recorded, he's probably about two inches taller. And the rest of them are also getting a lot bigger a lot faster i think that fertilizer that i got is really helping this guy's still pretty tiny um these right here by the way are what you see in here they are hydrogen it's expanded clay pellets and uh, you use those it's called a growing media essentially it helps retain moisture so that the roots don't dry out and Oh yeah, let me show you these other guys here. This guy's not getting much taller, but the leaves on him are getting bigger and he's getting wider. So that's good as well. But yeah, I just figured I would show you guys that. I'm really excited to see how this plant does compared to the other plants. And like I said, I'll be checking up on that probably every week, um, mostly because you got to monitor the pH when you're doing a hydroponic grow. It's really important that you don't let it get too acidic or too alkaline or it'll kill the plant. Uh, you also have to monitor your nutrient solution that's in the water because if it gets too much nutrients, um, I'm not sure what will happen. But if it doesn't get enough, obviously it'll die. And that's everything I got for you guys. So I will see you lovely people in the next video. Also, this should go without saying, but please like, comment, and subscribe. And that is everything. Love you lovely people. Bye-bye.